ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ به من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله وصفيه من خلقه وخليله اللهم صل على محمد وعلى ال محمد كما صليت على ابراهيم وعلى ال ابراهيم انك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى ال محمد كما باركت على ابراهيم وعلى ال ابراهيم انك حميد مجيد يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده خلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والارحام ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما اما بعد فان اصدق الحديث كلام الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الامور محدثاتها وكل محدثه بدعه وكل بدعه ضلاله وكل ضلاله في النار اجار الله واياكم من النار اما بعد فاتقوا الله عباد الله واعلموا ان ربنا سبحانه وتعالى يرسل بالايات ليستيقظ الغافل ويتوب المذنب ويعود المعرض يرسل لهم ما يخوفهم قال تعالى وما نرسل بالايات الا تخويفا وقال سبحانه وتعالى وعنده مفاتيح الغيب لا يعلمها الا هو ويعلم ما في البر والبحر وما تسقط من ورقه الا يعلمها ولا حبة في ظلمات الأرض ولا رقب ولا يابس إلا في كتاب مبين أيها المسلمون عباد الله الكل سمع بالزلزال الذي ضرب تركيا وسوريا فهل أخذنا العبرة من ذلك أم مرت علينا كما يقولون بأنها ظواهر قونية ولا زلنا في غفلة عن آيات الله كما قال سبحانه وتعالى وكأي من آية في السماوات والأرض يمرون عليها وهم عنها معرضون أيها المسلم عباد الله إن هذا الزلزال أو إن هذا الزلزال جند من جند الله قال سبحانه وتعالى وما يعلم جنود ربك إلا هو وما هي إلا ذكرى للبشر فهذا من العذاب والنقمة التي يسلطها الله على من يشاء ومن الزلزال او من الزلازل الخصب والرجف وقد ورد ذلك في كتاب الله وسنه رسوله صلى الله عليه وسلم قال تعالى اف امن الذين مكروا السيئات ان يخسف الله بهم الارض او ياتيهم العذاب من حيث لا يشعرون وقال سبحانه وتعالى أفا منتم أن يخسف بكم جانب البر أو يرسل عليكم حاصبا ثم لا تجدوا لكم وكيلا عن ابن مسعود رضي الله عنه عن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قال بين يدي الساعة مسح وخصف وقذف رواه ابن ماجه وصححه الباني في هذه الأمة خصف ومسح وقذف قيل متى ذلك قال اذا ظهرت القيان والمعازف وشربت الخمور فمن هذه الايات والاحاديث يتبين لنا كيف ان الله حدد عباده بالخصم وكيف ان النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم انذر الناس ان يخسف بهم اذا ارتكبوا المعاصي فليت الناس اذا مسهم البلاء تضرعوا لربهم وخافوا منهم وعرفوا النعمه التي هم فيها من قرار الارض وان المسلم الموقن يعلم ان ما حدث بتلك البلاد انما هو بقدر الله وان اقدار الله لا تنفك عن حكمه
alimaha man alimaha wa jahilaha man jahilaha ayyuhal muslimun yadun ba'du nas anna sababa khuduth al-zalzal innama yarji'u ila amaliyyati geologiya wa la alaqata laha bima ya'malu wa bima yu'mal ala al-ard wa hadha laysa sahiha wa hadha laysa sahiha walakin la ya'uddu an yakuna ahad al-asbab alladhi yuhayyuha allahu li khuduth al-zalzal wa innama al-sabab al-ra'is li khuduth al-zalzal huwa kama sabaqa ayat min ayat allah يخوف بها عباده ويعاقب بها كما قال تعالى وما نرسل بالآيات إلا تخويفا قال قتادة رحمه الله إن الله يخوف الناس بما شاء من الآيات لعلهم يعتبرون ويتذكرون ويرجعون All praises and thanks are due to Allah سبحانه وتعالى the Almighty the unique the one we bear witness we thank him and we praise him for all the blessings upon us and we bear witness that there's no god worthy of worship except him alone without any partner and we testify that muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is a servant of allah and he's the messenger sent to mankind we pray and ask allah to send blessings and salutations upon the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam upon his family and may allah be pleased with the companions who take care of this thing until we have it today we pray in Allah bless all the people who work after them also and all of us may Allah make us among them till the day of Qiyamah may Allah be pleased with people who will follow the way of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Brothers and sisters in Islam is another meeting here on, uh, on Friday this Friday and this is the last Friday of the month of Rajab inshallah and we will enter inshallah in few days in the month of Sha'abah it means between us here and the month of Ramadan is a month and few days, three or four days. We pray in asking Allah, may Allah give us opportunity to see Ramadan while we are in, in good health and may Allah give us peace and bring tranquility all over the world. As usually, and what Allah wait or expect from us is taqwa. Allah is commanding us. It's not when we want. Uh, when we want, we fear him. No, it's a command from Allah. If you believe, you say that you believe in Allah, he's calling you. Ya ayyuhal ladhina aman. Ittaqullaha haqqa taqati. Fear him the way he deserves to be feared. And do not, he warn you. And me and you, he warn you. He warn all of us. We are not, we are not going to allow ourselves to leave this dunya unless we are in total submission to the will of Allah. Unless we are what? Muslimun. It means it's hard to be to leave this dunya as Muslim. He called us as believers, and we know the highest level, uh, the believers are more higher than what? A Muslim. But he is warning us, telling us, is a lot of people who are leaving this dunya while they already leave their deen. They are not Muslim anymore. You and I, we will take them and bury them among the Muslim by the sight of Allah. They are not Muslim. May Allah protect us from that. And may Allah take our souls while we are in total submission to him. And Allah is commanding us to have fear of him all the time. This is how he will take care of our affairs and he will forgive our sins. And then we will have success in this dunya hereafter. May Allah grant us success in this dunya hereafter. Brothers and sisters in Islam, we all know what happened uh, weeks ago in Syria and in Turkey. In Turkey, what happened? We know that it was FK. And as a Muslim, stuff like that, when it happened, we should always take lesson from it. And it, you know, when you look at the, uh, the perspective of Quran, the Quran, you will find everything over there in the Quran in the Sunnah. Because he never left anything, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, unless he told us about it. FK exists. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have thought about, talked about it a lot of times in the Quran. And among them is what, when you see, when you read the Quran, you hear that some people, Allah destroy them. Allah use it to what? To destroy some people. But not all the time, folks. Some community, when they were bad, Allah destroyed them. Proof what? Proof FK. The, the earth swallowed them. Right? 
Before I continue, is the example of the man who was walking and then he became, the Prophet Sallallahu was telling us in the Sahih Bukhari, that that man became so proud of himself, he was so amazed about himself and walking, boosting himself. He looked at himself, he looked like he's something. And he's walking on the earth of Allah. And you are nothing. You are nothing, a human being, you are nothing. If you want, you want you will read some thought where Allah is asking you. you what, where, what have you created from? Mimma in death. Nothing. The world of that nobody wants to even touch. That's from where you come. If it's the beginning, it's the earth. Nothing. The, 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 the dirt that you're running away. The clay that we run it away, where at the end we are taking care of our body and the bugs and the earth will eat. We are nothing, brothers. If Allah decided to just do something, just say, blink of eye, less than that. He just used two letters, spoon, and that's it. So may Allah save us from target. That man walked and then he was just swallowed right away because he was proud of himself. He got amazed about himself. Then Allah ordered the earth to swallow him. Until now, he's going down until Jahannam. It means being proud of you know, yourself is haram, brothers. And look at us today, how we boost ourselves in social media. And we're in our community. We look down at other people because of what, what we have, because from where we come. Working on others, but we are not. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the khutbah is telling us today that Allah will never send, is not sending the signs except to warn, as, except as what? A warning for, for us, for especially believe. The non-Muslim, we don't talk about them. Because they are, Allah con, uh, compared them like animals. In whom illa kal an'am. They are like animals. They don't even get, sometimes even balhuna adallu sabila. They are even worse than animals. That's what Allah, Allah said. I did not say it, it's Allah who said. Don't go and tell a uh, kafir that Imam, you say that you are not, you are even, the, the animal is better than you. In the sense of what, thinking about Allah, the animals are be better than these people. Because the animals, they even worship in Allah. And sometimes, even as Muslim, the animals are cursing us. Sometimes. Because of our sins, Allah will hold the rain sometimes. And these animals cannot have gra grass to eat. So they will say it's because of you guys' sins. We cannot even have rain so that you know the earth, you know, will grow grass we eat. They curse us, but we don't know. You will feed it, you feed it an animal in your house, but it is cursing you, but you don't know. May Allah protect us from that. Allah saying that telling us the Prophet the woman of Sibil Ayat All this ayat, what is happening? FK. Zilzal. When you heard that something happened, it was Corona and we got scared. At the beginning, we think it was China. And we were, you know, relaxed here, thinking that, oh, it's them, because they eat anyhow. And they got to us. Now it's Zilzal. It happened in less than a minute, according to certain information. But you look how, how much, you know, this, area has been destroyed, brothers and sisters. And what is so horrible and sometimes so, you know, shocking is that you will see a human being, a woman or a man who is strong, who will lose his life, who lost his life. And a baby, a newborn, just born, but he, he will stay there for three days and they will rescue him. This is how you realize the Almighty is the one who is controlling everything. The earth, the heavens and the earth, they are the ayat from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is a creation of Allah. The same way Allah is commanding you is the same way Allah is commanding the earth and the heavens. The moment he, he commanded to move a little bit, to shake a little bit, it will do. Of course, you know, because of technology and science, we have sometimes prediction and stuff. But as a Muslim, 
Allah is already, you know, already told you that you have to believe He is in control of everything. Allah To Him belong to the matters and the creation. So He's the one who's changing the way He wants. But what is the wisdom behind it? Are we going to sit down like that? Oh, it's them. Or oh, I think that, that area is not supposed to be people uh, living there or so on. No. The geology will explain it, but it's it will explain it, but it's a little of knowledge they have. But this is the sign of Allah for those who use their mind. Qatada. Alayhi rahmatullah, he said, this ayat, it is one of the ayat, one of the signs of ayat, of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to what? To fear the mankind, and to see if they will use it as embora, as a lesson, and then return back to, to Allah. Repent, and what? Run and go back to Allah. We sit down here, a lot of things happening over there, and we think, oh, we would. And Allah is telling us here, Anyone who thinks he's got, you know, oh, he has guarantee, I'm, I'm, I'm safe. We safe here and so on, and they do whatever they want, is no one will do that except the losers. No one will stay peacefully, okay, from the punishment of Allah, in the Qawmul Khasirun, except for the people, the people who are, who are what? The, the losers. May Allah protect us from that. So Muslim, you always take lesson from anything that is happening. Even the simple rain that is raining, a Muslim is a, a, a sign for you, for you to praise Allah. Because some people are having, praying, asking Allah, Salat Istiqah, so that Allah give them even a drop of water, but they don't get it. And you and I, we have it. Sometimes we will complain. Oh. So it's a rain again. As a Muslim. And the rain, Allah called, Fanzur ila athari rahmatillah. The rain, for a Muslim, you should just take it easily. It's a rahmah, blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us here, wa ka'ayyim min ayatun fi samawati. This is how the signs of Allah, okay, to warn us will pass by in front of our eyes, we will pass and we don't even care. We will go through it, we will see it, but we don't care, we don't come back, we don't repent. And the, 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 the wisdom behind it is to scare us so that we go back to Allah and we rectify our, our actions, but we don't. So may Allah save us to always be mindful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. One of the uh, lessons the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam we should you know, take from it is always the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said uh, it will be zilzal all the time especially when it comes you know the, the sa'a, the time is close, is near when the world will, will get closer the end of the world will get closer, you will see it everywhere today you will see it over here I even heard that it happened a little bit here in New York. There was a time where it happened a little bit. And the brother was telling me that even during Ramadan, he said he was in the masjid, mashallah. You never know. We think it's over there, but the next time we don't even know where. Allah already knows. But we pray, may Allah protect us from such, such charges. Because he's scary, brothers. He's scared. So, for a Muslim to always just thinking that, you know, it's just geological and stuff, it's natural and stuff, it's not normal. You have to think it's from, uh, from, the, from the sign to scare you, to, for you to come back. And for the brothers who have been afflicted from, uh, for that tragedy, from, from that tragedy, it doesn't mean that they are the ones who are worse. No. It doesn't mean like that. Of course, in the Quran, some people Allah just destroyed them because of what? They are, you know, ashes. But here, are you going to say the baby who was restored, he, he has done something? No. 
But it is to, to scare us, brothers. We just take it like that so that we come back to Allah. It happened to Qarun when he was boosting himself also. And it happened to the people of Musa and Musa himself. Some scholars say Musa himself. Allah just, you know, caused them to what? To die right away. And atuhu likuna bima fa'ala sufaha'u minna. In hiya illa fitnatuka tudillu biha man tasha. Wa tahdi man tasha. It is a test. And from that test, some people will lose their deen. They are not going to be guided. May Allah protect us from that. And from the test, the same test, some people will have, you know, consciousness of Allah. And Allah, you know, they will be guided. So may Allah guide us. We pray may Allah forgive our sins. أقول ما تسمعون وأستغفر الله لي ولكم ولسائر المسلمين من كل ذنب فاستغفرون له الغفور الرحيم. الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وبعد we praise Allah, we thank Him, and we bear witness that there is no God worthy of worship except Him alone without any partner. And we remind ourselves and you know about the salat upon the Prophet Muhammad. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. You are not doing the salat upon him, but you are asking Allah to pray him because you, are, you don't you cannot even pray praise the Prophet. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It is Allah who is doing it, and He asks you to ask Him Himself, Ya Allah, you know, to to praise the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So we are asking Allah, especially this day of Friday, from the night of Thursday, coming until Asr of Maghrib of today, the Muslim should always try to do a salat upon the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ala Muhammad. Allah salli ala Ibrahim wa ala Ibrahim ila Qamil Majid. Allahumma barik ala Muhammadin wa ala ala Muhammad. Allahumma barik ala Ibrahim wa ala ala Ibrahim ila Qamil Majid. We were talking about the lesson we, will, we should take from what is happening in the world. Especially what happened to our brothers and sisters in Syria and in Turkey. We pray in, may Allah really have mercy upon those who pass away among them, the Muslims among them. And those who are injured, may Allah cure, cure them and give them shifa. And those who have lost their stuff, may Allah, you know, grant them sabr. And may Allah uh, change, change it to something better than that. The lesson is that some people will take it as complain. And most, you know, some people will take it. Some people have that problem when something happened to them. They will think, why, why, why me? Why among people is me who have been afflicted with this such and such, such, such? As Muslim, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is teaching us, and the Quran is teaching us, "Ahasib al nas ay yutroku ay yakula man awhum la yistanun." You want to say that you want Jannah, or you want to say that you believe in Allah. I'm a sibitum and tadukulul Jannah. Walamma yatikum mafalu ladina khalo mi qablikum. Masatum al baqsa wa dara and wad wuzud zilu. Hatta yakula rasul al zina manu ma'ahu mata rasulullah ala ila rasulullah qareeb. Even the people before us, they have been tested. And they have been shaken with a lot of trials, disasters. Until it comes to the point where even the, the prophet, their prophet, and those who believe even say, Ah, when will the help of Allah will come? Then Allah is telling them that no, it's hard. It's always near. This dunya is a Darul Ibtila, is a you know a place of what exams, test. And I'm all, you know, in that test will come two different people. Some people who will complain, complain and put it on other people and by some pe people who will remain patient and asking the forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and also better themselves in the way of worshiping Allah and obedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So may Allah make us among these people. So two things all the time, brothers and sisters. When something happens to you, it is either you lose both sides, and then you already get afflicted. With trials, and you got mad, you throw everything, you put, you don't even come back and get, you know, hold on on peace, sober, and be pleased with what Allah decides because He told you already He's in the charge of your affairs. He's the one who's doing that. What He wants from you, 
is that to be patient. In front will be better. Who knows? Maybe what happened to you may happen worse than what you have seen. And we have been having an example in this life all the time. The brother who missed his flight because of the, you know, those who, you know, uh, delay him a little bit when they were checking his stuff. He missed his flight, he was cursing, insulting them, but at the end, it's 15 minutes later, they told them that the, uh, the, the, the plane crashed and everybody, you know, died. That's the moment he will come back and, you know, thank all those people. But he said, Allah, anything that happened to you, they said, the scholars said it's either it will be worse and Allah reduce it a little bit for you and he take the pain you feel to cleanse you so that you will meet him while you are already pure and we all know the hadith the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that the one Allah loves the most are the one who will have the hardest of the test so don't look at your test like you are the miserable one Take lesson from it and move on with your deen. You can lose everything. But if you don't lose Allah, Allah, you have everything. But the moment you have everything but you don't have Allah, that moment you lose everything. May Allah protect us from that. And we always pray and ask Allah if you see a, a, a trial, someone in trial, some people in trial, you ask Allah to uh, forgive them and to what give them sabr. And you're asking Allah also to protect you from such tragedy. You don't just pass like that. You continue your life. No. It has to touch your heart. So Zizar will come. We all read Evans and Zilat. And the big Zizar will come. We all know that. The big one will come. Evans and Zilat al Ardu Zilzalaha wa Akhrajt al Ardu Afqalaha. That's the day of Qiyamah. It will swallow all of us. It's coming. When? Nobody knows. But it will continue from places to places. No, no one knows when will be the next and where will be the next one. So may Allah save us, brothers. And may Allah protect us. So the reminder I want to also uh, do is like uh, we are approaching the end of the month of uh, Rajab and the month of Shaban is near. And we all know this is the moment also people will sense in a lot of, uh, since we have a lot of uh, social media, the message can go so fast. People will send uh, some hadith that are so da'if, they are so weak. And some hadith are not even the hadith. They are the lie about, about the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Telling you to wake up, you know, in the middle of uh, uh, Shaban and make, you know, how many rakat and reads, how many surat, all that it is big about us. It's bitter, it's innovation. Of course, the month of, of, of uh, Shaban is a, the month during which the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to fast the most, except when in during Ramadan. During Ramadan, he, he, he will fast the whole month. But the month of Rajab, he will fast until the Sahaba, they said, until they were even like thinking like he's not gonna break his fast anymore. Then he will break his fast, then they will think that he's not gonna fast, then he will keep uh, continue fasting. And Aisha radiallahu anha, she, uh, our mother, may Allah be pleased with her, she related and reported that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa used to fast more in the month of what? Sha'aban. So brothers and sisters, we have to do it. And because what? This is the month during which our yearly action will be taken and you know, show it to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said, I want my action to be taken while I'm in state of what? I saw it. I'm in state of fasting. Because when you fast, you hold yourself from any kind of what? Desires. You, are control you used to eat. You know, when you have food, sometimes we, we don't even control. We just eat what we want, we want to eat. So the, the fasting will come to teach us discipline. So brothers, we have to pr uh, prepare. Don't you don't, you don't have to fast a lot. There's no problem. It's for you to prepare the time and the guest, the best of the, uh, the best of uh, the guest, which is the month of Ramadan, in the corner. So you try to have it yourself with what fasting and reading the Quran. If you look down one a year ago, we were good, and then at the end you realize that you lose a lot of things. 
you not even hold on on certain things you were doing during Ramadan. So now you have to prepare yourself during the month of what Shaban, inshallah, until like the 15th, the 20th of Shaban, anyone who's you know already tired, you stop fasting to prepare the, the coming of Ramadan. And also it's a reminder for the parents who have a daughters who already each, uh, reach the age of te uh, teenagers and to remind them if they do not pay their fasting of last Ramadan is mandatory. They have to do it. The moment doesn't matter if they are 12 and they already reach the, the age of puberty, they have to fast. It's mandatory. And uh, in our mothers and wives, remind them about them paying their back their what? Their fasting of last Ramadan. Because some, some women are still holding even five years ago of Ramadan. When you hear sometimes you, you ask yourself, what's going on? If it is health issue, Alhamdulillah, Allah, Allah knows your issue. And you have to try all the time. Sometimes it's laziness. So may Allah protect us from that. Aisha radiallahu anha, she said that's the moment she's paying her, you know, what she has to do during last Ramadan. Because of how the Prophet you know, always get busy with her. So she didn't get chance to what? To pay back until when it is Shaban. So Shaban is the moment we have to start, you know, uh, uh, training ourselves so that we see Ramadan. Otherwise, you just enter Ramadan, you, you use it maybe five meals, uh, five meals a day, and then during Ramadan, you just start fasting for like 10 hours, 12 hours, you start having, you know, stomach. And you can, Imam, I think I cannot make it. And Imam cannot do anything. May Allah protect us. So hold on. And the month, that month, Allah is forgiving a lot of people. The Muslim, the believers, except three people, uh, two people. The one who is Muslim, stay away from shirk, brothers. And those people, the people, two people, or two group of people who have still have uh, animosity between them. They do not what? Forgive one another. It's the moment to forgive one another, brothers and sisters. May Allah forgive all of us. And the one last reminder is that Sometimes when we come for the prayer of Juma and we see the Mu'addin making Adhan and the Imam is already on the member waiting uh, for the Mu'addin to finish his Adhan when he just come, it's better for you to do your two rakah even if the, the Mu'addin is doing his Adhan you can do your two rakah then you listen to the Khutbah because listen to the Khutbah is more is mandatory and then for you to do two rakah when you come to the masjid, it's a sun. You understand? So you're not gonna, you know, uh, wait. Or for you to respond the adhan is a sun. All right. So when you come, you always do until you cut. You uh, you catch what what is more important. It's like me. Can you come to the masjid? People are praying uh, fajr. They already start, and you will go busy yourself with what rakatin the fajr, the the, 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 the sunnah prayer before. You're gonna lose the, 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 the first part of, of our fajr, which is not right. So inshallah is a reminder I want to you know share with because I, we always have that attitude when we come, the Abu Adhan is making Adhan, we sometimes you see some people they don't even sit down by the in between. Some people they waiting, standing. It's not right. It's always good to just do your tour account. Then later on, uh, you listen to what? Maybe the moment you finish, the Mu'adhan just finish and then you will listen to the khutbah. May Allah accept our prayers. We pray in the brothers and the sisters over there. May Allah those who lost their lives, may Allah grant them death. And those who lost their wealth and everything, may Allah replace it. And may Allah cure all the sick, sick, uh, sick people, the brothers and the sisters who pass away also in our community, in our friend, you know, among our friend and the parents, may Allah grant them death. And all of us, may Allah give us good end. Allahumma is al Islam al Muslimin, wa adhil al Shirk al Mushrikin, wa dam radaka adha al Din, wa asri ibadak al Muahidin fi kulli makan. اللهم لا تدع لنا ذنبا إلا غفرته ولا ثمبا إلا فرجته ولا دينا إلا قضيته ولا مريضا إلا شفيته ولا حاجة من حوائج الدنيا والآخرة هي لك رضا ولنا فيها صلاة إلا عنتنا على قضائها ويسرتها لنا برحمتك يا رحم الرحمين ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار قوموا إلى صلاة 